So you see how the bigger of the plant on the graft is probably about one foot taller as compared to... One of the main projects that uh, um, we have been involved at the center here and also in collaboration uh, with colleagues in, in West Laco uh, and College Station in the, the breeding, tomato breeding, is the, the application of grafting uh, technology and then the grafting genetics uh, to improve the the production, um, the production season, the total productivity, and also the quality of tomatoes for Texas. One of the important things uh, is that uh, the growers uh, are interested in diversifying the production, particularly using high-value crops. Uh, that uh, even though it requires more inputs, uh, the, the benefit of the income produced by this crop uh, potentially are much, much more higher than, than other, other, uh, other standard uh, crops. Uh, one of the objectives first is that we are, are looking at the comparing the production system, looking at different varieties uh, that we uh, bred here in Texas as well as commercial varieties with uh, different rootstocks that uh, we feel they could be appropriate for our environment, that uh, they have some known levels of resistance to important soil diseases. Um, so we are evaluating those under the high talent production and compare those with the traditional open field production. Uh, second component is we are also doing this comparison uh, in the organic systems uh, versus conventional. We are using different the type of genetics. Uh, these are more varieties, more common, used for uh, uh, organic system, uh, heirloom types, uh, tomatoes, for example. Um, we are doing this not only in the the research level in the, our facilities but also in combination with commercial growers and this is this is possible and again it's very important the support that we get from the Texas Department of Agriculture through the specialty crop block uh, grant program. The other component of this is we are evaluating the, the rootstocks so one uh, not only commercial rootstocks but also uh, rootstocks that they are being developed or are in the progress of being developed in Texas A&M uh, through uh, the, co the collaboration with Dr. Kevin Crosby, which is the tomato breeder. So we are screening uh, rootstocks uh, for these conditions, particularly under you know, drought conditions and the low nitrogen versus high nitrogen. We are doing certain techniques that we will be able to select, uh, identify and select a, a small number of rootstocks that then we can evaluate more under these production systems. And the last one is uh, we, the objective is trying to understand the physiological and biochemical basis of why uh, grafting tomatoes are, uh, are imparting that stress tolerance in the plant. So we are doing a series of studies that uh, will evaluate the um, uh, chemistry, you know, physiological traits or signatures in the plants that will be able to identify uh, certain certain chemistry that may provide may help us understanding why the grafted uh, tomato on these different combinations is more tolerant or resistant to drought stress as compared to the control type.